Okay, now that you've finished adding images, text, and videos to your, your project, one of the most important things you have to do is be able to cite your sources. Yes, we have to cite sources. So when I am in my place mark and I right mouse click and go to properties, what I can do is down at the bottom, I'm going to put a little section down at the bottom. And again, to, to get the line breaks the way, the way I want, I'm going to put in the, bright, the break tag. I'm going to put in several of those just to kind of give me some space. And then I'm going to type in references with a colon. And I will also put another break in here because I just want to get my lines going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in I had an image, I had a video, and I had some information that I got from Wikipedia. So first I'm going to type in information with a colon. And then I'm just going to go back to... Um, Go back to Internet Explorer or, or uh, Chrome, wherever it is, if I can find it. There it is. And I'm going to get some information from this particular website. So I'm going to click on the URL, right mouse click it, copy it. And then I'm going to go back to Google Earth, wherever it is. And I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to put another break. The BR or the break tag is very important um, so that it makes your formatting look better. So then I'm going to type in images because I know I have an image. I'm going to type in another break and I'm going to type in video. <clears throat> and then I call it in there as well. So for my images, <clears throat> I go back and I had my Google images right here. Now, this is the image that I had right here. Um, what I want to do is if you notice in Google images that, um, there's an underlying website that's behind it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the behind it and then I'm going to look at this link right here because that's where I got that image. And I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go under images and paste that. Make sure I put a little space in there. And then when I go back to the video, if I can get to it. Uh, I'm going to go to YouTube and I have this is the YouTube video that I have. And I'm going to right mouse click it, copy it. Go back to Google Earth and paste that one more time. All right, and then I click OK. And then when you click on Austin, Texas, you will see down at the bottom all my references. And that will conclude what you need to do with your Google Earth placemark.